Hey, how are you doing? Small little drone by Xiaomi. And initially I thought it's gonna be really boring because um, I was told it supports only app control. Uh, then I figured out I can actually use this one. It's a standard Bluetooth joystick, which happens to be a game changer in terms of controlling the Me Too. So yes, that's the Me Too by Xiaomi. I'm Michael, that's the Tech for All channel, and the top six features of this awesome little guy. Let's start. The best beginner drone. DJI Tello Killer and many other fancy titles. Well, for the money, the Me Too is good and has a few quite serious competitive advantages against most of the cheap beginner solutions. Although most of the online retailers sell it as Xiaomi branded, the drone is designed and manufactured by Me Too, another one from the countless Xiaomi subsidiaries. Me Too, as a company, is designing mostly robotic toys that are meant to compete Lego on the Chinese and maybe already not just on the Chinese market. Within the 65 US dollars that you're going to pay for this drone, that's all you're going to get. A micro body which is almost as small as the Rice Tello, no remote controller and you have the props, prop guards and the 920 milliamp hour removable battery. You would be surprised how many goodies this small thing offers. Plenty of flight aids like takeoff and landing are automated. There also is altitude hold and headless mode. Interesting option is the throw to fly, half unique and half copied from the DJI Sparks feature set. The first top feature I'm gonna mention is the build quality. You can fly the drone with or without the prop guards and no matter which way you do it, the body is designed to be shock resistant and it will easily survive almost any kind of crashes. Knowing that the maximum altitude is 25 meters, it will be almost impossible to break any of the arms. Every single component is well protected in this 11 cm wheelbase. As you can guess based on the size, this body is quite easy to carry and in order to control it you don't even need a transmitter at least if you like the idea of controlling it on the go via an app the second awesome feature and you're gonna love it the smartphone app is very reliable nice and tidy with the main screen showing footage in real time from the HD camera and plenty of control options I was quite happy to see many available settings options where you can fine-tune some of the parameters according to your own habits. We mentioned the camera and this is the third awesome feature to have a look at. I think the quality of the video falls behind the DJI Tello. Don't forget it costs almost half of the price of its competitor. It may not be as good as its more expensive brother. The camera quality probably beats any other little drone at a price below $100. Of course there's no stabilization, but the smooth movements that the high quality motors guarantee are going to present you surprisingly good and relatively steady image. Contrast and saturation could have been a bit higher, but even like that everything you see is of high quality and with a lot of detail. And this kind of footage has nothing to do with most of the other toy grade drones. Right now if somebody asks me which is the best cheap drone with a good camera, the answer would certainly be the Xiaomi Mi 2. My learning experience was a bit disturbed at the start though. Call me old school, but I'm not a huge fan of smartphone based controls. But you know what? Here's my favorite feature of this drone. You can literally connect any gamepad that supports Bluetooth and 2.4 Wi-Fi. I have the old Xiaomi gamepad and linking it to the drone was extremely easy. Funny enough, there are plenty of people that probably have never heard of this feature. You just need to pair them. Put the drone into pairing mode by powering it on, then pressing the power button three consecutive times like that. And you will see both LEDs flashing. Then put your controller in pairing mode and you're all set. Xbox controllers, PC controllers, any kind of them that support Bluetooth will do fine. You may have to figure out which button for what is being used and that takes a few minutes and this is brilliant. I felt like 
unchanged using a controller, somehow it lets you reveal the maximum potential of the Mi 2. Control range will be up to 50 meters, but it's really the first 20 meters that feel comfortable, and don't push it too much, the drone is small, has no GPS, and therefore no automatic return to home. Two more left! As you can see, I'm stressing on unique features, which most of the other models at that price range don't have. Another one where the Mi 2 stands out? Internal storage. Yes, a couple of gigabytes for storing your videos and photos. No need for an SD card. And it is lovely that it doesn't use an algorithm to record via the smartphone because wireless recording always results in many frames dropped. The storage will be good for more than an hour of footage and quite many photos. That means the only limitation you might have while entertaining yourself is the battery life. So think about getting spares. As a last one, I'd like to talk about sensors. Cheap drones usually don't have such. Main difference is the stability and the positioning of the aircraft. If you've ever flown a little drone indoors, they tend to go sideways or just move in some direction and you have to always compensate via joystick commands. The more advanced drones often have a GPS assistance, which works at least outdoors and keeps the drone steady. With the Mi 2, the embedded quad-core processor analyzes the feed of five different sensors and allows support for fixed-point hovering, which is amazing. No matter if you fly indoors or outdoors, the flights are stable and you can hover above a single point without having to constantly adjust the position manually and it feels like you do have a GPS. That gives you more time to focus on the cinematic capabilities and makes it hell of a good selfie drone, the absolute best below $100. Two weeks ago I thought this will be a rather boring and limited quadcopter, now I like it so much and the more I fly, the more addicted I'm getting. Did I mention the G-Sensor control? The flips? The headless mode? Or the infrared battle mode? Well, I didn't, but you can figure that out yourself. Hopefully this review was fun. If mission accomplished, give me a like, maybe a smile too, sending you positive energy back, and see you in the next episode.